few of the tips and tricks using your scientific calculator. First thing to clear any of the stored value in your calculator, press shift 9 3 equal AC. Any value which was stored by uh, stored in the calculator is erased and your calculator is in default mode. To have fractions, you press this symbol here, you get fractions. You can write in any fraction over here. And then to get this in decimal form, you can just press the third and decimal symbol here, SD, and you'll get in decimals. In order to get, say, for example, logarithmic functions with the base, you just click on this symbol here. You will have log functions with the base. You can choose your own base and solve the problems. If you want to solve equations, say you have equation 2x, then you need to click on alpha. Now alpha's uh, option is enabled and then press this symbol here which shows you x. When you press alpha, all the red symbols are available. And then you can type in the equation. And again, to press equal to, you need to press alpha and calc. Now you get equal to. Imagine this is the equation. In order to solve it directly, you just press shift and calc and now press equal to. Here you go. That will be the answer. Now there's one more thing. Here, if you just press equal to, you will get a syntax error because this cannot be solved. You need to solve it by pressing shift and calc and then equal to. Now, If you want to see 0 0.5 in terms of fraction, you just type in 0 0.5 or any of the decimal values you, you get in terms of fractions by default. If you want to find the inverse of this value, you just press this symbol here, it automatically takes the inverse of any value. If you press 8 and inverse, you get it over here, 1 by 8. You can find factorial easily, 4, shift and x inverse gives you factorial of any number. If you want to solve the trigonometric functions, sine, cosine, tan are available. If you want to find the inverse trigonometric function, you need to press shift, sine, or shift, cosine, or tan. This ENG symbol writes the numbers in terms of 10 to the power. But if you press ENG, it will tell you it's 59.624 in terms of 10 to the power 3. And if you want to write in terms of degree, minutes, and seconds, Imagine you have this value, you can just click on this and then it automatically converts to degree, minutes and seconds. If you want to go to the different modes, you can click on mode and you can solve various types of mode. The most common mode is equation, that is option 5. And quadratic equations are solved by clicking 3 here and you just type in the coefficients and you can easily solve the answers. Imagine you have something like this. You can see that will be the first root and the second root. You can press SD to find it in terms of decimal. You can graph any functions by going to mode 7 and type in the equation, say 3x. And then you need to start at a specific value. Say I'll start at minus 5 and I'll end it at positive 5. And I'll give a step of 1. That means I'll have all the values from minus 4, minus minus. 3 minus 2 and so on if I change the step to 2 I will have at every two intervals of 2 minus 5 the next value would be minus 3 minus 1 1 and so on you can see these are the table of values and you can use this to easily graph it up these are few of tips and tricks but there are so many more features in this calculator please do explore your scientific calculators